I'm gonna go to my favorite spot, which is down in this little cove. See if I can't catch anything. I'm actually shocked I haven't got bit yet. Maybe I can get closer to these rocks and get a bite. There's a fish. A little bass. Just a little guy. Here he is. Nice little young largemouth. Very healthy looking fish. And a little tip is to grab these guys right here by the gill plate. And when that does, is it actually paralyzes them a little so that you can get your hook out without getting hooked. I learned that the hard way once. So there's fish number one of the day. And a little largemouth. There he goes. See if we can get back in there and catch another one. Oh yeah, I just saw some boil right there of a little bluegill maybe. It is, ouch, it is a roasty toaster out here today. Pretty hot. I think it's what, probably 90 degrees. So doing this may not be the safest thing, but gotta be where the fish are, which is that shade right there. Wonder if I can find any lures in here for free. People have maybe lost. And there goes that big old jet out there. That might have been a dumb cast. Oh, that was a good hit. There's definitely fish around here. They're just not really active today. Oh man, there's a bunch of little sunfish under that tree. Where's the big berth of bass at? That, does that not look good right there? That spot looks like it'll produce. If it was windy out here, I'd for sure be throwing a spinner bait, but it's not too windy. Maybe this has something to do with the, the fish not biting because the water's so low. Never been back here on foot. I've always been on the boat. It's pretty cool. Nice little path. Like, see, that log would have been in the water right there. There would have been a fish right on that log. There's a good one. Oh, it's a pretty good bass. Yes, sir. Probably a three pounder. I don't have my pliers on me. Um, shoot. He's not hooked too bad. Oh, what happened to that guy's lip? You see that? What ha- what? Oh, man. That guy had a interesting top lip. Let me get a photo of this guy real quick. And we'll let him go. I'd say he's probably 
two or three. Get a quick photo. Yeah, not bad. Look at his lip. I've never seen that before. You see that? That's crazy. All right. Oh, we'll let this guy go. Give him a good release. There you go, buddy. Pull that lip up. There he goes. Swam right off. Cool. Let's get back to fishing. All right, I got off all the most of the grass off my bait. I could probably do a little bit more. Yeah, today I'm using the Strike King 1.5 square bill in the natural bream color. Works great for me. And the Lose Xfinity bait casting combo, one of my favorite combos. So let's see if we can get back in there. I cast it like right above those rocks. So maybe they're like tucked into the rocks? I don't know. This fish are making me a little confused today. So basically what I'm doing with the square bill is I'm taking it and I'm just kind of casting parallel to the bank. Just because some of those bass might still be up here spawning. We're just trying to beat the heat. And what a square bill does is it deflects off cover really well. So I could cast into that tree over there and it there would be a pretty slim chance that it got hung. So that's why these baits are really effective in and around structure. It's a bunch kind of in this dam. I think there's a big old drop off right here. By golly, there's some fish down there, I'll tell you that. Look, there's a sunfish right there. Let's see if I can get him. Just looking at it. I doubt he's going to bite it. Yeah, they're not real interested. Oh, snap. I had to retire that rod for today, so I switched over to my Black Max combo. Same bait, different location. Let's see what we can do. I was out here with a buddy on my boat, and we were catching a bunch in this little cove. So, we'll see what happens. I must say, it feels a lot different from using wind grips to the Abu Garcia knobs. Oh man, it's a good bass right there. That was a big fish, that was like a three pounder. Look at how clear this water is, that's amazing. Oh my, how does the line even get stuck in that? I'm just gonna do some fan casting now. That bluegill just bit it. That's interesting. And my back of the leg is bleeding now. Because I hooked myself, which is not good. That was a horrible cast. Never mind. Oh, he got off, dude. That was a huge fish. I just casted it out and let it sit there and he just top water hammered it. Man, that was a decent bass.